Next up, while the rest of that's finishing dry, I'll grab the carpet cleaner and upholstery cleaner. Just the rag, and we'll come back in over here where we had those couple of marks. So this is the product I'm using. This is only about four or five dollars, so quite cheap. And then I'll give you a look at We've got these marks here. Spray it right in there. Got this one up here too. So I'll leave those spots there. Just work it in with you. You can even just use your hands like I've decided to here. Do the spots first. You can see it's working quite well. I mean, obviously it's not gonna be able to get rid of everything, but I'm pretty impressed with how it's done up here. And then it's cleaned most of that up too. So we'll then go over the entire part. So before I did this, it's pretty important that you um, you vacuum it. You don't want to be doing it with lots of dust and dirt and stuff like that all over the panel because you end up all, all over the upholstery because you end up actually ingraining it in and pushing it in when you do this. So just a quick spray over the whole thing, a bit of a wipe down. And that'll dry up overnight. I'm actually quite happy. There's another piece we can do up over here too. A few little dirty marks. So I think I'm then going to go and repeat this over the rest of the vehicle. Obviously, I'm not just doing these patches. So that actually came up quite good. And they only just took a couple of minutes. It's pretty good product this one. And then. Next up, we'll go and clean these windows. So you can replace this by just a normal cloth if you like, but I think newspaper is actually quite good. Lots of people use it, and um, yeah, it works quite well. So. This is just our normal glass cleaner, you can get it anywhere, it's inexpensive and many different brands but they all have the same effect pretty much. Depending on how much of a fanatic you are, you can wind your window down, do that top lip and all that stuff. But I just like to get the uh, nice clean look. I'm not a total fanatic on my car. I just like it to look nice. So that hasn't left any streaks whatsoever on the windows because I've used the newspaper. I'll give you a quick look at that. Beautiful streak free shine. Next up, what have we got? Alright, we'll go through a bit of a hand polish. There was a couple of little spots where the guy that fitted the windscreen ended up having to rub some of his seam sealer off and it ended up uh, scratching the panel a little bit. So he's put his sealer inside the windscreen and then rubbed off the excess which ended up getting some scratches on the paintwork so we'll start off by just um, dampening this uh, nice nice clean rag just a little bit don't want too much on there so I'm just doing a spot polish here I'm not actually polishing the whole vehicle because it's, it's only just been painted there's no need to polish the whole car And grab my canuba wax. 
That's probably actually even a little too much there. But we'll just work it around. And just around here we can see a few very tiny fine scratches. That just that feels like it's going on really nice. It's a lot of slide to it. There's a few pieces up the top here. Some slight scratches up there. You could um decide to use some masking tape if you wish to tape off that rubber, but I'm just being careful that I'm not, not hitting that rubber with the um with the polish. Next up, come and grab our microfiber cloths. That's started to glaze off now. Now I'm just wiping it off with the microfiber, and that's coming not coming off real nice. It's leaving it with a nice gloss to it, so. Quite happy with that how that's come up actually. Let's remove those fine scratches just by doing it by hand. As I say, there's no need for me to do the rest of the car at this point. I might do it a month or two down the track because this is off the gun finish. I decided I didn't want to polish it straight away. We'll give it a month and then we'll give it a bit of a hand hand glaze. So next up we'll do the tires, but to do the tires you want to actually dry them off. So We'll just grab this old t-shirt actually it is of mine i found that the tire black works better on um on dry tires because it's not going to stick to the to the water these wheels came up quite nice too actually sprayed them in two pack white Put some decals here and there. So this is just my favourite brand brand of tire shine. So easy. I've used it for a long time. It's about ten dollars for a 500 ml bottle of this stuff and then we'll turn that on to spray it's got the different settings up the top here turn it over onto spray oop that's on X here we go first time you use it take a few pumps here we go you could whack this onto a rag and apply it that way if you didn't want too much of the overspray but I'm not too fast myself I'm happy to just to spray it on. This stuff does contain silicon, which can lead to a world of problems for spray painters. So, if you think you're going to have some paint work done in the near future, don't use any of this. Stay away from it. So, I've, I've obviously been very careful. I only use this after I've sprayed the car. If I was to use it before I've painted the car, I would end up having silicon and fish eyes all through the paintwork. So um, I'm pretty happy with how this is looking now. We've got a few uh, decals to put on here, some Bridgestone stickers and some shell stickers we're going to put up here. But um, I reckon it's about ready to go for a drive and show it off. So thanks again for watching. It's been another Gunman production. Goodbye.